morning, it's Dee here. We're going to learn about electrical circuitry. Whether you're interested in residential, commercial, or industrial wiring, these videos will help you understand it. Let's get started. We're going to look at parallel circuit applications. On my slide, I have a picture of the Parliament buildings in Victoria. Now, there's hundreds of lights on that Parliament building. Would I wire them in series, or would I wire them in parallel? That's the question. I've drawn two circuits here. One is a parallel circuit, one is a series circuit. And what happens here is, as long as the switch is closed, so let's go ahead and close the switch, the current can come out of the source through each one of these paths and back. That's a parallel circuit, multiple paths. The bottom one here, when I close the switch, current comes out and goes through this light bulb, then through that light bulb, then through that light bulb, then through that light bulb, and then through the last light bulb before it gets back. The advantage to the parallel circuit is that if we lose one of the light bulbs, say we lose this first light bulb, it doesn't matter because current can still flow through the second, third, fourth light bulb. If we did the same thing with the series circuit, you can see that our path is broken and now we're not able to have a current flow. I've added a circuit at the bottom. It's an AC circuit. That's this symbol here. And on that circuit, there's multiple branches. This symbol here represents a receptacle, like this one, and like the one at the end. It doesn't matter what order they're in, they all have a path from the source. In the middle here, I have three loads with switches. If the switch is open, no current can flow through, and that is how we control the power to the load. This load here has no switch, so it means there's power going to it continuously. This whole circuit could be part of a circuit in a house, residential application. We're allowed 12 loads on a circuit in a home, so this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'd still have room for five more. 